This restaurant is well known in Jakarta for serving fish head curry. Oh, that's an entire side of a cheek right there. Oh, that coconut milk is so rich and buttery that it like sticks to your fingers. Migrationology.com in Jakarta, Indonesia. For lunch today, Ying and I are at a restaurant called Medan Baru. And this restaurant is well known in Jakarta for serving fish head curry as well as fried pigeon. And so I ordered both of those two dishes and along with a few other side dishes and some sambal chili sauces and all the food has just arrived. It's time to feast. A couple weeks ago, I was in Singapore and one of my ultimate favorite meals to eat in Singapore is fish head curry. And so when I published a video about eating fish head curry in Singapore, a couple of you recommended this restaurant in Jakarta to eat fish head curry as well. So I'm excited to be here. They have all of the different curries and dishes prepared at the front of the restaurant. And then they have a couple big, um, slow boiling containers of the curry sauce for the fish head curry up the front there too. And so you can just kind of look around over there and order what you like. But I got the two most maybe well-known things that this restaurant is really well known for, the fish head curry and the fried pigeon. And this restaurant, it doesn't look that big from the outside. It's just a small entrance way. Um, it looks almost just like a shop house, but then you come in here and it's, a, it's actually a huge restaurant. They might even have upstairs and they have a big open air um, kind of uh, outdoor section. And then they also have a big indoor AC room section. So they directed us here into the AC section and it does feel quite good because it's really hot and humid outside. It smells unbelievably good. And here's the fish. I don't know what type of fish this is, but it's a pretty decent sized head. And then it's just submerged in a really, really rich and buttery looking curry. That is some serious coconut cream. Look at that, look at the consistency of that. It's almost like melted butter. <laughs> That's just thick and beautiful. I'm gonna go in, reach into maybe that that section of the fish. Oh, maybe I'll just put all of this onto my rice real fast. And this is the rice. The rice is in a little little cup formation. And let me break that rice. All right, okay. That is a piece of fish. That is a bone. Yeah, that is stunning. Oh wow, that coconut cream is so rich and so thick. Oh man. And definitely that orange color is coming from lots of turmeric in there. And there might be some lemongrass in there as well. I have to take one more bite of this fish before proceeding. I'm not sure exactly what type of fish it is, but I do know that it um, it's quite it's quite meaty and it's quite um, it's quite it's quite firm, but at the same time it's it's soft and juicy at the same time. That coconut cream is insane. That is some of the richest, most buttery, thick coconut cream milk curry that I've had in a long time. Next up is this vegetable. I think it might be cassava leaves. And then I, I see little bits of shrimp in here as well. And then also, it looks kind of like a coconut milk, a light coconut milk curry. Let me add some of this, mix it with some of that rice. And that rice, that rice is a little bit sticky. Oh, I love those leaves. I think that is cassava leaves. They almost have a little bit of a leathery texture to them, but not in a not in a very chewy kind of way, just slightly, and then really good flavor. I think that is a very light coconut milk in there, and then you can taste those little dry, salty shrimp. 
And then these ones, I believe, are papaya leaves. You can see those papaya leaf, um, those veins running through them. So that's a papaya leaf, I believe. I'm gonna, I think these are just completely plain, just boiled. I'll dip it into this sambal. The papaya leaves are quite bitter, but I really like them. But they're, they're very soft and not chewy at all. And then that sambal, it's quite sweet and a little bit spicy, almost like, and maybe there's a little bit of shrimp paste in it as well. Next up, we got a couple of fried pigeons, and look at those little, look at those little tiny drumsticks. So to my plate, and I'm gonna reach in for that, the breast meat first. Or should I go for the drumstick? Okay, let me go for the drumstick. That is the entire little drumstick and thigh. Oh, that's remarkable. Oh, I thought it was gonna be kind of dry because they don't look that like moist. But that meat, that's like chicken but more moist. And it's nicely salty and then it's deep fried so it's a little bit crispy around the edges. That's just absolutely bursting with flavor though. Even plain with no chili sauce or anything on it. But for my next bite of the drumstick, I will dip it into this green chili sauce that might enhance it even further. Oh man, it's hard to, it's hard to get some on that bone. Okay, that should be good. That's amazing. That chili sauce is not hot. It's not spicy, but it tastes like roasted green peppers and then with some oil in there as well. And then with those, that pigeon is wondrous. Let me take a piece of the, the breast now. Oh, look at that meat. It's so lean and so succulent. I'm gonna dip it into this other sambal this time. This looks like a very shrimp. There looks like there's, there's whole shrimp in here just chopped up. And then, I don't know what else, there are some shallots in here. Let me get some of that. That one is really good too. It's um, a little bit acidic and sour and a little bit sweet at the same time. It tastes like crushed up pineapple with shrimp in it and maybe some happier lime, lime leaves very finely shaved up in there as well. The final dish or the final protein dish Ying and I got is the egg, an egg curry. And these are eggs in a very, again, looks like a coconut milk based curry. I'm gonna set this down onto my rice and the rice portions are kind of small, so I've just taken a couple of bites of rice and my rice is already almost finished. Oh wow, that's a very hard, that's a very hard, hard boiled egg. <laughs> Whoa, that takes some strength to, to break it. Oh wow, look at the size of that yolk. It looks very, very crumbly. I think it's gonna need a little more of that curry sauce on there. Oh, that egg is, yeah, it's kind of tough. It's not like a soft, hard-boiled egg. The outside white of the egg is kind of leathery and kind of like, kind of crisp. And then the inside, the egg yolk is really, really creamy though. And then finally, this is um, the soybean tempeh, which looks like it's stir-fried with some sambal chili sauce. Let me set this down in the rice. It's always a standard, delicious dish to order. It's crunchy. There are a mix of soybeans in here as well as peanuts. And then it's stir fried with chili sauce, so it's um, a little bit spicy. And it tastes a little bit tomato-y as well. And yeah, that's just a great accompaniment to a meal like this. Ying and I have finished off the collar of this fish, so I think we're coming down to the cheeks. Oh, that's an entire side of a cheek right there. And then, it's time to start completely dissecting this fish and just tearing off all the meat, digging out all the meat from the little bone areas. This onto my plate, and let me go back into that head. I think I'm gonna break him in half. Oh yes, 
Oh yes. Oh, the eyeball just fell out of the socket, I believe. Maybe I'll just put this Alto on, onto my plate so I can lick it clean. Oh, that's all meat right there. And I'm gonna go in with that cheek with some rice. Oh, <laughs> oh that coconut milk is so rich and buttery that it like sticks to your fingers. That is buttery coconut cream curry. And then that is a very buttery cheek as well. Oh, that's stunning. It's gonna quickly wash, rinse off my hand. That All that coconut milk curry is just plastered onto my fingers. And then for dessert, they brought us some bowls of fresh fruit, which sounds wonderful after such a wonderful meal. Watermelon. Nothing like a juicy watermelon after just a, a rich and buttery and spicious meal like that. Definitely that fish head curry, or their two specialties, the fish head curry and the fried pigeon, were remarkable dishes that you have to order when you come here. And I want to say a big thank you to all of you who recommended this restaurant in Jakarta. This is a must visit restaurant for sure. And thank you all for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up and I will see you on the next food video from Jakarta. On the way to the restaurant this morning, Ying and I walked to get there, but after eating such a magnificent feast, we are so full that we decided to jump in the back of a bajai, which is a tuk-tuk uh, here, which is the one of the easiest modes of transportation in Jakarta. So we're on our way back to the apartment now. That was such a great lunch. Yeah, it was amazing. Oh, hello, Ying. <laughs>